I just spent last night in the Philippine village. I'm on my way to the Philippines. I'm going to Cebu and I'm in Olongo Island, something like that. And I just spent last night in this local village. <laughs> to give you an idea, you can really see this is uh, pretty much a makeshift building right here with the straw side and the steel roof. So it's definitely a full authentic feeling. Check out what this bed looks like. See, this is just like wooden planks put together. So, so it's definitely not the most comfortable bed to sleep on. I'm a pretty tall guy by American standards, but you can see here, I don't know if the video does justice, but the bed is really small, especially for an American like my size. And that's really kind of been a problem all throughout my trip of Asia, but especially so far here in the Philippines. Everything is Filipino sized, which I mean, obviously makes sense but I'm not Filipino, so sometimes it's hard for me. So I was able to stay here. Scott woke up and we should be getting ready to go to the island. I know we got to take a couple of boats and something like that, so let's go see what's going on. Um, I have local here who's gonna guide me. Hopefully we should get there, no problems. You can kind of see what it's like in the traditional, there's a dog. You can kind of see what it's like in the traditional Philippine house with, you know, the traditional side. And yeah, it's, it's very, it's very unique. Uh, fortunately, one of the good things about this house here is it does have internet. So it was a big surprise to me actually coming here to see that they have internet, but they do. It's just prepaid. I don't know if you can see this prepaid Wi-Fi. So here in the village, they actually do, a lot of them do have Wi-Fi. They can just get these prepaid Wi-Fi sets and set things up. And there's one person like way back over there who's been playing music all night, like all, literally all night, and it's still playing. So he obviously has some form of electricity. These dogs are everywhere here in the Philippines. But, oh, and there's another one. I actually haven't seen this one yet. Most of them are pretty small, but this one's actually a pretty decent size. They're pretty harmless. They don't do anything, but here's what it looks like in a traditional Filipino kitchen. You have this traditional type stove and yeah, you have very, very basic things here in this Philippine village and I don't know, I just came here last night, so it was nice to be able to, to see and to experience, but I'm ready to get on to Cebu to my place and I've just got to find the local that I'm staying with. I stayed with here. She said she's going to take me into the city, so I just got to find where she, oh, right there. Are you ready to go? Yeah. All right. We're leaving today, going back to our place. Yep. Yeah. I'm ready. You ready? Yes. I'm All right. Ready. Let's go. Yes, sir. Last night, there were like three or four dogs that showed up, but it wasn't either of these. It was two like small little black dogs, and I haven't seen these yet. But like once you get out like on the streets, you see dogs just like roaming everywhere. Like there's so many, like yesterday I was on the bike coming here. It was sundown, it was almost nighttime. And like I almost hit like three dogs because they're just running around in the street. This is a true Philippine village. You don't see buildings. You don't see, you know, a lot of developed stuff. You can see everywhere around this particular place is undeveloped. It's been a very interesting experience being able to stay here, you know, pretty much just surrounded by wildlife everywhere you look. You can see there's two guys over there and there's a building. But other than that, but other, than, other than that, it's pretty spread out. It's pretty sparse. But there is a basketball goal, so that's pretty cool. Uh, basketball is super common in the Philippines. Basketball is the official sport of the Philippines. You see people playing in the street, in parks. Everywhere you go, people play basketball here. And that's cool for me because like, I love basketball. This is the first time since I've ever traveled that I've got to play basketball. However, the yard is full of these rocks. Like, they're rocks that just protrude out of the ground. So like if you're trying to move around, like you trip on these rocks. We should be ready to head to Cebu. The way I understand it, we have to take a couple of boats, a couple of taxis. It's not just one straight ride. Here, you, you hold this. You hold this. Can you hold this? Yeah. Here. Yeah. 
one more. Okay, yeah. thank you. Thank you. <laughs> You're welcome. Thank you. Bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. So, is there going to be a bike down here, or how are we going to find somebody to pick us up? Because it's pretty early. Here? Yeah, like down here once we get out to the street. Are there still going to be like little bikes that are coming around looking to pick people up? Okay, we'll, we'll be, from here we'll go walking there in, in, the, in the corner. Okay. And then we'll, we'll ride like yesterday, the motor with the sidecar. Got it. You can see there's people over there playing basketball. So yeah, it is pretty common here in the Philippines that people play. Even here in like this small village on this small island, there's still a lot of people who play basketball. Is that one? Uh, there's one right there. I don't fit inside the car. You can see. Yeah. That's not. Yeah, I don't fit inside the car. It's Filipino sized and I'm not Filipino, so my head is practically on the roof. Yeah, it's hard for me to get in and out. I don't think we had the right change. I don't really know. We only had 100 pesos. And I don't know if that's, I guess it's too much. How much is the bullpen? Oh, bullpen. Oh, the last cat's been part. Do I die? Oh. So if I understand right, we take a taxi here to the pier and then take a boat, which is, should be right down here. So it should be that yellow boat. Then we take that yellow boat to another pier and take another bike just like this one to the opposite side of that island and take another boat to the main island which is Cebu 
which is where we're going. There's a lot of steps to getting where we're going today. But if you can look at the view here, it's pretty early in the morning, but you can look at the view pretty much all around. You can see the sunrise over the ocean and everything like that. My time here has been pretty good. Like everybody here I've met has been very friendly, very nice, and honestly very helpful. The biggest surprise has been that they speak pretty good English here. I knew the Philippines was pretty good at English, but coming from Thailand, they don't speak a lot of English there. So having people that speak English and able to communicate with me is a big deal. But beyond that, they've been very friendly and very nice and very welcoming pretty much in everything I've done. So it's been a pretty good experience overall. And of course, I just got here. so. I don't know how much you could really put into that within, you know, 12 hours in a village, but we'll see what happens when I get to the main city. So we're getting on this boat right here. Okay. So where are we going now? We're going to Baptist City. Then we'll ride another bus. Then another ferry boat. We should be going to get another bus. Yeah. That's going to take us to the other side of where we are now. Yeah, the other side. And then, and then once we get there, we got to take another boat yeah. to boat. the city. Yeah. And then we got to take the bus then, to where I'm staying. Yes. Okay. So that's the process. Yeah, so it's, it's a few steps of ha having to get on and get off quite a few times, but it's pretty affordable as far as like the cost. How much does it cost to ride the boats and ride the bus? The boat is 40 pesos. So 40 pesos? Yes, the bus is 25. From here, going to the pay another boat. You say 25 or 55? 25. 25. So the, the current exchange rate is 57 pesos is one US dollar. So to get on the boat, it's like 80-ish cents. To get on the bus, it's like less than 50. So it's very affordable, but it's very crowded. So whenever you get on like a bus or a boat or anything like that, it's pretty much always full of people. Cebu province, but we're going to Cebu City. Yes. But right now we're in Lapu Lapu City. Yes. Got it. <laughs> Got it. Bus rides in the Philippines are very crowded, and they're much more squished together than you're probably used to. It was a very big surprise to me as an American who on buses are used to having seats. Here in the Philippines, they don't have seats. They have a long bench and you just sit on the bench. The thing is, Filipinos will sit shoulder to shoulder and squeeze as many people as possible on that bench. 
the whole ride from the pier into Lapu Lapu City, I was sitting shoulder to shoulder with two people, my arms squished together. It was honestly a super tight fit. And this is actually just a very common theme on the bus here. Every time I've gotten on the bus, it's been just like that. So now we're walking to the next bus, or the next boat. So we gotta walk a little bit over in this direction to get to the next seaport. And there's a lot of people over here in this area. I don't know where we are, I don't know if we're in, I think we're still in Lapu Lapu City, I don't know. But you can see that's a lot more, there's a lot of people over here. There's a lot of little shops like this that sell clothes at a discount. I guess it was kind of like a thrift store or something, I guess. They're on both sides of the street. Are there gonna be people down here selling waters again? Cause I'm a little thirsty. Really hope somebody down here has some water. Pretty thirsty. I have a bottle of water, but yeah, well, I have a bottle of water, but it's got a hair in it and it's got some dirt in it. It's probably not very sanitary to drink, so I'm hoping there's some like, bottle water salesmen down here. At the last pier, there were a bunch of them that just hand out, pass out bottle of water. You have to fill out this paper whenever you get on the boat here with, with your name, your age, your address. I don't really know why they want to ask. I mean, like the only reason I can think of like, is if the boat sinks and they want to know who all the people are. I just wrote my name and quickly, so you probably wouldn't even be able to read it. So on, so on Friday, meet you in there? Yeah, inside. You go inside. Got it. Yeah, yep. I love this. Uh, cheers, dear. I don't know if he's gonna stop. I guess so.
So what what's going on here? Every taxi driver they have like um, required ID for the situm for the police like police ID one. Even even you have even you have driver's license. So you have to have like a certain permit or something. Yeah, yeah, something that that this permit is expired. Oh, so what happens now? Oh. <laughs> Yeah, because I didn't see, like, when we were down here earlier, I didn't see this, the police down here. Yeah, because here in Cebu City, it's very strict than, yeah. the, than, than the other city. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I can definitely tell it's more strict as far as police when it comes to <laughs> Philippines versus Thailand. Yeah. In Thailand, I didn't see, like, any police at all anywhere. Oh, really? Yeah, like, even in the city, nothing. Mm. Like, I seen, like, maybe two or three, mm. and they didn't do anything. Oh, okay. Even, even the driver, I talked to the driver that he's a driver's license. Yeah. Not expired, but the like the police per train, no, per train. Okay. See? The driver's license is in police. Yeah, that's not good. <laughs> Very strict. In Cebu City is too many pe police station police people surrounded. Huh? <laughs> So about how many people live here in Cebu City? So, the exact, the exact. a lot. Yeah. Yeah. So, is is Cebu the second biggest city behind Manila? Yeah. Yeah. Manila is the first, the second Cebu city. Yeah. City. That's what I thought, but I wasn't sure. So, yeah, because when I came here, I stopped in Manila first, and then I came here. But like the city seems like I don't know. Like I just came from Thailand, mm -hmm. so like all their cities pretty big. Or well, where I was, at least in Bangkok, was pretty big. And Manila was really big, yeah. just by looking at it. Yeah. So like being here, like it's not that big, like yeah. compared to what I've seen. Yeah, in Philippines we have three islands: Manila, Luzon Park, and the Cebu City, the, the Visayas, and the Davao is the Mindanao. So the small, the smallest island is Cebu, the Visayas island. The biggest is Manila. The second is Mindanao. Cebu is belong to the Visayas island. Got it. So it's broken down. So we're getting out here? Yeah. Okay. All right, so we're going into the city hall to get a... Yeah, to get, yeah, to get the, my helmet. All right, so we're going to get a bike helmet in city hall, and then we're going to part ways, and you're going to go to your house, and I'm going to go to mine. Okay. Right? Okay. Would it just be easier if we just got a taxi? No, oh, if you have a taxi, you pay 200 pesos. It's very expensive. What do you think? Do you like uh, taxi or bus? Yeah, we'll, we'll just take the taxi. Okay. I mean, we rode the bus before, and that's the how. So, how far away is your house from my house? Maybe in your house from here, Cebu City, the center, going to my house. I think 13 kilometers. All right. About how much is that in taxi fare? Maybe the same with you, 200, more than 200 pesos. All right, let's just do that. So I got 500, so let's just get a taxi, we go to my house, and then go from my house to your house. No, it's Should... very expensive. It's okay. No, no. No, it's fine, I can pay for it. So w would that trip be under 500? Maybe more than, or I don't know, because going to your place is very heavy traffic. Yeah. Than to my house, going straight. Yeah. It's heavy traffic with more additional money. It's okay. Yeah. I, I'll, I'll pay for it. It's fine. It's okay. It's okay. Yeah, we'll, we'll pay for it because 
if we get on the bus, I won't know when to get off. And I don't know, like we've been on the bus a lot and I'm tired. I don't know if you're tired, but I'm tired. Okay. So. All right. Thanks. Bye-bye. Okay, Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Bye -bye. Thank you. I'm going in. No. No, I'm going home. I'm going in here. Maybe later. Later. Finally made it. Taxi driver got a citation, didn't have his papers or something. The car had window tint on half the windows. Police officer didn't see me recording. I don't know how they would feel about that. I don't think they would really care here, but he seemed very chill about it, so out of sight, out of mind, I guess. But this is my hotel. I got an Airbnb. The last few hotels I got, the Wi-Fi just sucks. Like, I can't get no internet connection, so I decided I'm gonna go back to staying at Airbnbs. Finally made it here, and after last night, I'm just ready to go to bed. I didn't sleep at all on that bed. It was just wood planks put together, and it had, like, these cushions in the middle to, like, soften it up, but the cushion didn't match the bed. The, the, there was two cushions. Like, imagine you have a mattress, and, like, there's two cushions, one on each side, and they kept, like, parting and I kept lying right on the wood, so it was very uncomfortable, and about halfway in between, I ended up just going to sleep on the floor. It was a nice experience being able to see the village and everything, and I got there really late. I wanted to be able to record it yesterday, but I got there really late, and they didn't have lights. I mean, they had like a couple light bulbs, but nothing that could sustain, like recording a video it would be way too dark, and you wouldn't be able to see anything. So I was a little disappointed by that, but maybe I can go back at some point during my time here in the Philippines. But uh, yeah, I had a good time being able to see the people. They're all very friendly, especially in the village. And hopefully you've seen some of that at the beginning of the video. My hotel has a pretty good view, actually. You can kind of see some of the local buildings, you know, kind of down here. But in the distance, of course, you see Cebu City. And in the car, we learned that it is the second biggest city in the Philippines. You can also see the mountains here, too. So it's definitely the best view I've had in my time staying out of America. But I'm gonna go ahead in the video. If you enjoyed this video, any of my other videos, be sure to subscribe to my channel. I'm uploading videos every week, every place I go I'm recording it. I don't want you to miss it. And it helps me out a ton. I'm trying to make this work to create travel videos and to you know go around and share with you things that a lot of people just don't get to see. So if you like what I do, just support me by subscribing, liking, and we'll make it work.